So I'm assuming you've just switched to Octane and you want to know how to render your real flow particles inside of Octane. Um, so the standard way of doing it is you'd have your standard particles over here inside of RealFlow. You'd import them into Cinema 4D by going plugins, render kit, RK mesh, and then you'd have your standard um, RK mesh settings there. You'd hit render and then your particles would um, show, you'd actually see your thing in the middle there. But if you try that in Octane, you'll notice that there's nothing there. And the reason why is that Octane can't see the particles. Um, Octane and RealFlow don't work together, so you, they don't, it doesn't read the particles um, inside of Octane. To fix that, you want to convert your actual particles into a mesh. Um, to do that, uh, you want to go and select your domain, click Particle Mesh, and then you'll have your mesh over here. You want to click Build Mesh, and then you can see this preview. You can adjust your particle mesh settings here to adjust how many polygons and all that stuff you want. And then there's some more settings inside your actual domain here. Um, once you're fine with that, you go to Export Central, and then you tick Bin, because that's the format that we need to read inside of Octane. Um, so you want to tick Bin, you want to untick your standard ABC. And then once that's done, you click build mesh sequence that will um, mesh the whole sequence for you and then you go into cinema 4d you go plugins uh, real flow import mesh uh, mesh importer and then you go inside your settings here and then you select your actual mesh and then you'll see here it's over here on the right now you have your mesh <coughs> that's imported from real flow you have your particles that's imported from real flow and then here we have particles on the left here that was made inside of Cinema 4D's RealFlow plugin. Um, so now you'll see here the particles on the right. Um, you can see inside of Octane, but the particles in the middle you can't. And you'll see here the particles on the left you can't see either. So you want to convert them into a mesh like this and then you can read it in Octane and it can also read in standard Cinema 4D as well but the import the, the the generated particles that we're from the in from the plugin inside of cinema 4d you can't see in the standard renderer you have to do the mesh version for that as well but the imported particles from real flow you can see in the standard renderer um, so that's how you do that with your um real flow particles uh, if you've imported them you convert them into a mesh and then you import them into cinema 40 and then you can see them in octane if you're using your real flow plugin um, inside of cinema 4d what you can do is you can turn each particle into an actual object which is a really cool feature to have but um, if you're using if you're doing like sand simulations and stuff that's cool but here you'll notice that there's a ton of polygons inside of the scene which will slow down your viewport crazily so you want to click render only that means it'll only show up in the renderer and not in your viewport um, which will speed up your scene dramatically um, in the viewport but if you don't want each particle to be an object and you want it to be actual mesh you go to mesher and then here you have similar settings that um, similar settings to um, your real flow and then build mesh to preview um, once again. And then to cache the whole sequence, you go into your scene, click cache meshes and select your, um, your, your file destination. And then it'll do the basic, it'll do the same thing that you've done in, um, inside of RealFlow and give you this sort of mesh look, which you can read inside of Octane as well. So you have your, your plugin, your Cinema 4D plugin on the left your imported particles in the middle and your imported mesh on the right so that's how you read real flow particles inside of cinema 4d goodbye